Saber, you say? Saber? Saber? Uh, yes, Saber. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave. And uh, a while back, I made my own lightsaber. It's now in parts here on the bench. Here's a picture of it. I made this lightsaber. And then uh, the folks who made my beautiful um, uh, lightsaber unit that makes the lights and the sound, they sent me a new unit which has lights so that I can potentially light up this little crystal at the bottom. Um, when I first built it, it did not have that. However, uh, it's there's a tiny extension here on this. We're just right off to the races with this build. I'm not gonna stand on ceremony and try and assemble this because uh, I've got a lip in here inside my pineapple at the bottom of my lightsaber. And that lip needs to be mostly removed in order for this to fit inside of this with everything screwed together. And um, that's what I'm gonna do today. This is a particularly interestingly difficult problem because how am I going to, how am I going to grab that? How am I going to grab that? I ask you. Well, I have some ideas. All right. The first thought I have is some one, two, three blocks. Oh, what's that? Not one, two, three blocks. Not one, two, three blocks. I mean V blocks. Hold on. Yeah, that's grabbing it above center. Let's see if I can do this. Got to put in some uh, pieces of wood to protect this. Yeah, four of those. Bandsaw noises. All right, I think this might actually work. So I'm gonna put this there, some wood in here to be able to Hold on to this guy. Uh -huh. Let's fix this up just a little bit. And this one. Oh, no. Um, probably even. No, it's above the center. That's why it won't work. Um, all right. No, I don't think that will do it. So then what? Um, that's a good question. All right, I'm gonna take a plate and I'm gonna drill a hole through it that's exactly this size, that size, which is 1.4, give or take. Let's pull out my annular cutters. All right, that'll do it. Excellent. Uh, this is 1.43 and I need 1.405, 20 thou plenty for me to be able to grab it. Uh, but what I need is, I need a chunky chunk. So, it is a chunky chunk. 
Maybe this one. Hey, that's exactly what I need. Okay, so we're going to uh, load this up. Turn the volume all the way down. I mean the speed. Volume, hardy har. exact about this at all. Oh, I love the angular cutters. Here it comes. Here it comes. And we're done. Oh. I love that. bird there on there gonna take care of it do this other one excellent so this is what i'm talking about so i'm going to put this down i'm going to hold it down onto the milling table like this and this is what the specialty clamps for the mill are all about Tinker toy together some clampage. See that? That's how this all works. So much for not wanting to damage it. All right. Brilliant. Wonderful. Marvelous. Good, it feels secure, and I'm uh, 
Now I've got to indicate it in and make sure I can find that center. Um, okay, so. First up, I want to get us into the ballpark. And I'm going to do that with, with what? With what am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do it first by eye. And that's pretty close. Okay, so. All right. It's not the most beautiful, but it's within a thousandth. And so I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to go with a boring bar on this one. The German one. Try this. Excellent. Good. Let me give you a shot of what's going on in there. Excellent. So what's going on here is that this is spinning like this, and it's slowly just carving out that inside edge, and I want it flush with the threads is what I want. So I'm going to turn it and bring it out. A half crank. And then we'll lower this down. And we'll get to it in just a sec. Here it comes. There we are. That is a lovely cut. No chatter, no nothing. Very pleased. Pulling out again, half one. Pulling out again, half, half cut. Coming in. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. All right.
trying to do this by hand. I could make this part again, but I just want to take this lightsaber home and I want to get the other colors in it. Oh, right, I gotta ask Norman about the program. That's that part. By the way, when I dropped it, I totally dinged the side of my threads. That's what I was just doing, was using a piece of wood to hammer this back to round, and I think I got it most of the way there. I did. Lord. Oh, that's awful. That feels awful. Am I going to have to rebuild this whole thing from scratch? I might. There we go. That That's the one. I like that. Oh, no. If I connect this up, yep, that light lights up. Oh, it's very dim. Let's get a little bit of oil in here. Just a tiny bit. Great. One thing. One thing. I'm very happy with this. The bulb that they included for my jewel, that's going to have to be another build because I'm going to have to make the jewel lighter. This bulb isn't bright enough and it stays on when the thing is off and I don't want it to drain the battery. So, uh, but 
I see this now, I'd like a little brass ring right in here, right in that space. So I'm gonna make one. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be exactly a hundred thousandths thick with an internal diameter of 1.3 and an external diameter of 1.4. Let's go to the lathe, shall we? Oh, actually, yeah, to the lathe. Let's clamp that down. Okay, so Open it up in the inside. Just got to get rid of that little. Okay. So, got my brass ring. It's the brass ring, baby. I got the brass ring. Uh, it's going to fit right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. There you go. Oh, yeah, details. Oh, very tasteful. Very tasteful addition. A little bit of brass. Very happy. All right. Yes. I love this thing. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, me and my saber are gonna go find a nest of Gondarks. Whoa. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day. Beheld a nice quickie to say hello back to my home city of San Francisco. You don't really put a lightsaber over your shoulder, do you? Uh, anyway, it's nice to be back. Thank you, thank you guys for joining me and I will see you next time.